Okay, so in this video we're gonna keep working on the terrain and then we're gonna now cut all the parts that we don't need in the terrain and then keep just the parts that uh, inside the camera view basically inside this um, resolution gate because that's where we're gonna be rendering yeah, the, everything outside it, we don't need to worry about it so in order to do that, let's first duplicate the ground so let's locate it and then uh, command D or you can go like edit and then you can click on duplicate and then let's call this ground original because we don't want to uh, damage the current ground we have we just want to work with the new one it's much safer just in case let's call this one new and then let's hide the original one okay and then here now we have this new ground and that's what we're gonna be working with so let me switch to click 5 here and then uh, change to share the mode, we don't need to see the textures and then what I'm gonna do in order to keep everything uh, inside let's go to the perspective and let's do this uh, just by selecting face and then let's drag everything here so now we're selecting every uh, face into this terrain so that's good now what we're gonna do here is let's start deselecting all the faces that we see and if you want to deselect, just press and hold control and then drag on the faces that we see. So all these faces, uh, let's keep them because that's very important. That's like the camera, what the camera sees. And that's what we want to keep. Probably it's a good idea to hide the trees. So let's click on this mesh instancer here and then let's hide the trees. So we lost the selection, that's fine, we didn't uh, do much, so you just hold and click on face, we'll get back to your uh, selection. So let's keep going, let's deselect this one because we can see some, some of it. Let's deselect these two just in case. Let's switch to four, so four we can see much better. So let's deselect these. While I'm al always holding uh, control. So this way I'm deselecting the faces. Okay. So this is good. Let's keep going. Let's deselect this guy. Let's keep going. So we see these. And we see these guys as well. You can select and drag. Also helps. Okay, let's keep doing. Let's see, even if it's sometimes not very visible, it's, it's fine, it's safer to keep it, it's okay, it's not gonna... Okay, let's keep going. We can see these guys and this guy is here. Let's just let's keep deselecting all these faces. Let's deselect this guy. Let's just deselect all these guys here. Let's keep doing that. Okay, it's okay if you deselected extra. Uh, that it doesn't show up. A little bit is fine. We just don't want to uh, go too much. Because it's just... will take too much, uh, you know, RAM and CPU power for something never gonna render. So let's keep deselecting. It's a little bit manual work, uh, this one, but uh, it's an important step. It will save us lots of uh, time and rendering and effort because we can focus on just a small area to do our rendering and uh, scene and instead of uh, just doing for the whole terrain and then just rendering like small part of it. Let's keep going in here. We almost there. Let's deselect these guys. Okay.
just keep deselecting. Okay, so I'll get these guys in here because the camera moving uh, not straight line, so. We're gonna do another pass just to make sure we really see here for example this one we can keep it okay let's delete these deselect these faces in there let's keep working on this one Okay, next, oh, you can see here at the very edge, there is some faces, so let's show them. Okay, same here. Okay, let's deselect all these guys. And then, let's see, we can deselect. We can deselect these guys, it's fine. Just pretty close. It's good to have extra, so trees can be, you know, showing a little bit uh, off the camera. Like some parts of the trees will show up, so that would be good, more natural. Let's deselect all these guys. Here, let's get a little bit extra. You just want to keep in mind uh, to maintain the same aspect ratio. If you change it, then that's going to change um, your render uh, resolution, like render how, how much in the frame will show up. So that might affect. So I want to make sure before you do the step, you have the final uh, uh, aspect ratio of the rendering. So this way it will be what you're going to see here is going to be rendering. You're not going to get any extra. Uh, you know, like it's gonna cut show more or show less. Okay, so now we kind of deselected most of the things we don't need. Just want to keep some extra parts here. So let's go back and see. We can dissect this guy. So we can see here, it show up a little bit. So let's keep going. And now I'm looking at the top edge here. We can look at one edge at a time. So we can deselect just to make sure we got it uh, working. Let's deselect this one. Let's deselect these guys here. Let's deselect these guys. Also, let's remove these. We just want to have extra space so we're not like really at the edge. Let's deselect this guy. Also, let's make some room for the camera if we wanna. Okay, so so this is pretty good. So now let's look at the uh, bottom edge here. Make sure. So let's deselect these guys. It's too close to the edge. Same here. Mm, this is fine, we can keep it. This is getting really close, so we can deselect it. This is also getting close, let's deselect it. Deselect this one. Same here. Same goes here, a bit too close. Let's deselect all these guys. Okay, and of course we're gonna deselect all this area. And let's deselect these guys here as well. It's too close to the edge. We wanna make sure there's room for the the grass and the trees to be on don't want to get too tight okay let's keep removing here just make a little bit room ok 
Okay, so this is pretty good. Now what we can do is let's go back. Here's perspective and then you can just press delete. And then that's it. This is the ground we have and press uh, 6. It's already textured so the texture is not going to get affected. So we shouldn't have any issues with the render at all. If there is any any gap or something, you can fix it. Uh, now you can undo and fix it. But this was pretty good. It will help us, you know, to keep working with this scene. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show up the trees, and then we're gonna adjust the instancing because we don't want it to be. Now it's still the old ground. See, so all these like unnecessary trees never gonna be rendered. So we want to put them all into what's uh, really matter. So now let's do that. Let's uh, go to the mesh. First let's select this new ground and then let's go edit, delete by type and then history just to make sure it doesn't have any history. Let's make sure we are selecting the ground. Let's double check. Yeah, it doesn't have any history here. Perfect. So let's select the mesh and then let's go to the mesh distribute and then here let's replace from the original shape to this new one so let's select this one let's select the mesh and then let's drag the new terrain and let's, let's add it okay and you can see the trees immediately updated so let's double check from the ground here from the perspective and you can see the ground uh, it just took all the trees that we've been uh, working on the 1800 that put them into this one so it will become like much much denser here so now let's uh, check the camera movement and as you can see here we have a nice uh, range of trees uh, looks pretty good we can even uh, render one frame now just to double check so let's render and see okay so it's done rendering and you can see it looks uh, nice it's still the lighting is pretty rough so we're gonna be adjusting that later but for now uh, you can see that the ground have a nice uh, variation and doesn't look like it's tiling or anything between the grass and the sand and like the rocks and also we have the uh, trees they looking uh, nice as well with the opacity applied correctly so and it's scattered uh, nicely now I think uh, we can increase the scale of the trees a bit they kind of feel a little bit uh, small so we can cheat that by increasing them uh, and also uh, what we can do is we're gonna in the next video adding the grass so that's something we will do uh, next we're gonna add the grass and start working between the grass and the trees just to get the correct sizing and make sure everything looks nice and then after that we'll keep going from there so I will see you in the next tutorial